So, I thought I regularly put out content. I have plenty to <laughs> plenty to put out. I just most of it is boring stuff. Uh, this is my brother's truck. It's an O2 with a hundred and thirty thousand on it, and some jackass ran the red light and did that. <clears throat> Anyways. So, originally, I was going to buy it back from the insurance. I was tempted to put the motor and tranny in my <clears throat> red S10 that I just got. That I've had to completely fix from one end to the other. But it has a replacement GM motor. And it was only 160,000 miles on the truck. 160,000 hard miles, it seems. But anyways. So far, it's got 21 miles a gallon. So, owning big block, everything else. I need something that gets decent mileage. But anyways, so uh, originally I was going to buy this back and use the motor. And then when I got it, the frame wasn't bent. Just the cab. I was going to buy another truck just to get a, a good cab and swap everything over. But he decided the truck he bought, he wants to put... Um, this engine and tranny in it because it's a v6 truck so i'm doing a 05 v6 to v8 swap uh this is major differences this is an o2 with drive-by wire go figure i have a harness for this engine for an 05 actually i bought a while ago i was going to use on that but I actually, that's a 814L80E, and I need, uh, I need an O, I need a, uh, O4 up harness for 4L80E and LS or 81, but those are hard to find. But, anyways, so I gotta use that harness. I'm gonna actually gonna convert it to cable throttle body because it's a cable truck with cable cruise control, so I will just convert it to cable, which will save me that hassle. And then the only other goofy thing is the alternator has that stupid charging sense thing. So I'll have to use the alternator off of that, which is no big deal. Um, and then I gotta convert the AC and AC lines over because the compressor on the V6 is up here. Um, but aside from that, I'm gonna have some more videos of that soon. And once I gotta get this out and scrap the truck and pull some more parts off of it. Um, but anyways, I just catch up with what's going on. I got this in the garage. Just was in the middle of cleaning up the garage, and then it's turned into a table now. But anyhow, I'm gonna get finished getting this apart. Get the stuff I want out of it. Scrap it. I've got another vehicle. I got to cut up the scrap. It's going to go with it. And then I've had this uh, S10 cab for almost a year now. I bought it originally to fix an S10 my dad bought. And I need the wiring harness, and it's involves taking the whole dash out of it. So. I'm probably going to put that cab, I have a title for it, on this frame, because I bought this for part. And I might make this into my 8-1 dyno mule. So I won't even put a front end on it. And uh, I'll put the, the radiator and stuff back here. And then I can use it for doing cam changes and everything, because... I'll just leave the front open. Something I'm thinking about, unless someone comes and buys this sometime soon, which I've had one or two people say they want it and then never show up. I gotta finish, I gotta finish getting parts out of this, cut it up. But see, I got my Suburban radiator. I can stick that in the back and use it as my dyno mule. And then I can do my intake testing and everything else with it without having to mess with a running driving vehicle 
But that's what's going on. Uh, that's some of the crap I gotta scrap. I bent my door on my van. Uh, I got the Colorado outside after being sitting inside for a year, which was also a table when I had it in here. Uh, but there's the motor, 88 PSI. I just picked up a trans recently for it. These things aren't cheap and they're hard to find. And since the tent is lighter, you can kind of see it without me. T56, I kind of miss having a stick vehicle. I went from all stick vehicles to all automatics for some reason. Probably because it's just price. But that's what's going on. Uh, mainly on this, I've got 90% of the parts. I just got to do a bunch of fab work. I got a fab fuel cell mounting. I got to fab the seat mounting. I got to finish doing the intake piping because I'm running the throttle body in the back of the motor. It's just kind of hard to see because everything is... Let's see if I go through here. Nope, still reflection. Everything's reflecting. Anyways, I'm going to run the tubing here because the turbo is going to be in this area. And then 5-inch exhaust. I saw the Colorado here and the exhaust through the bed. And I was already planning on doing that anyways. I was going to just 5-inch it, dump it out here once I do the turbo. Because I actually have exhaust on it now to get it running in A. But it came out the bottom center of the tailgate, and it looks really cool. Kind of like a jet engine without the jet effect. But I might do that. I haven't decided yet. But, um... No, that's where I'm at now. Let me uh, sign off. This is, we've been rambling for probably 10 minutes too long.